So, about that sunrise. We're still about 20 minutes away from sunrise. Maybe something cool will happen. Just gonna sit here and wait. Maybe take a little nap. All right, regardless, cross your fingers. Good morning, everyone. This is a special morning because definitely feels like a little bit slower. Got the backpack out, got the tripods out. There's less of this huge light and feeling really good. Uh, I know I'm kind of quiet, kind of mellow, still kind of waking up, but also this mood just kind of just makes you feel like a little bit more at peace. Anyways, I think you could already tell what the composition of my shot is. It's pretty much just this, I don't know what kind of tree it is, uh, but it's got red on it and there's a little bit of yellow in the background. Shooting uh, F8 standard, 70 millimeters, had to back off the fence just a little bit to try to get everything in the frame that I wanted and it's uh, channeling all of my inner British uh, YouTubers because this is what they shoot all the time and I don't think this happens really at all in Colorado very often. What's really interesting is I'm up near the mountains on this range, the San Juan range, and this is going to be all in fog, but I guarantee when I drive back down the road, it'll just clear up. It seems to just sit here. Absolutely gorgeous. I'm going to talk about my shot a little bit, and uh, yeah, just go over that. All right, so like I said, composition is very simple. One thing that I had to be mindful of was that when I was at the fence, this little aspen tree here was a little bit too close in the frame, so I just backed off just a little bit. I am a little bit limited because I only carry around my 16 to 35 and my 7200, but that just means I just needed to back off a little bit. And worst case scenario, what I could do is just take a quick little pan if I wanted to capture a little bit more data. But for the most part, I think this composition works. The balance is really nice. Uh, we're not cutting off this aspen, which is going to draw attention, and we have these peaks and the trees here that kind of line up to the symmetry of our composition. Works really well. Hasn't changed in like 30 minutes, so I think the shots that I've probably already taken are what is going to work, and we'll probably move on. So, enjoy. Let's uh, get a shot in the back here. Nice. Drive around, look for more shots. Fog is rolling in pretty heavy right now. Get in the car, warm up, see where the day takes us. Thanks for watching. If you're enjoying, you can like the video. If you're loving it, you can subscribe. I just want to mention that normally all this stuff isn't like this, and that when I wake up for sunrise, it's a little more organized. Yeah.
just off on the side of the road. Thought I would film myself on my phone. I just captured this composition right here of the tree and these red surrounding brushes. Not sure if it turned out, uh, didn't really, it's kind of rainy off and on and getting all the gear out to film myself is a little bit advantageous. This thing is decently weather sealed, but my X-T4, I always worry about it just a little bit. So film it on the phone. Hope that's okay. Hope I sound okay. No idea. Regardless, composition's pretty sweet and I hope it turned out. All right, I'm gonna go take a shower, which I am quite excited for because it's been way too long. Very moody. Curious if I will take more shots this afternoon. It is now 10 o'clock, roughly. Uh, I really need to get some work done, office work, uh, work on videos, that kind of thing. So we'll see. But first things first, take the shower and I will update you on what happens next. Thanks for watching. And Mike, if you see this video, nice meeting you today. Thanks, man. Okay. Ready to go. Feel like a brand new person. Now it's time for the most exciting part of the day. Going to the library. this for the next five or six hours. All right, so we are done at the library. It is now five o'clock. And as you can tell, uh, I'm not entirely sure we're gonna get much of a sunset. It seems to be a common theme. I was watching my other videos, it was like sunset. Nope, sunset. Nope, sunset. No. So what I'm gonna do is if nothing happens, the next thing you're gonna see is me talking and editing through a photo or just talking about my edit of a photo. If something does happen, well then I will include you. So thank you for watching, thank you for sticking with me. I just hate ending on a, well you kept watching and nothing happened. I hate that. So, don't want to do that to you. So keep watching, something will happen. Either an edit, you got it. <laughs> Enjoy. Or I ain't gonna live like this no more Most of my life been waging war Till I found peace, I could have swore Good morning, everyone. It is a absolutely beautiful morning, and we are back at the spot I was at last episode, but doesn't don't think it's gonna rain, but as you can tell, there's some over overcast clouds. Sorry, I'm still waking up, so I might stumble on my words a little bit. Uh, it's also cold, um, but it's not like temperature cold, it's just wet cold. Super humid here, weirdly enough. We're back on the car, as you can tell, set up the tripod. You might be wondering why, it's because there's some brush down here that I want to give above my composition, which is over here, and that little bit of extra height really helps um, with the composition, so it's really nice to have that option. Just channeling my inner Ansel Adams, if you will. Anyways, gonna see if anything changes. Probably wait around a little bit here and see what happens, and then um, see where the day takes us. I ain't gonna live like that, no. Well, I ain't gonna live like this no more Trouble comes when the barmaid pours Another four man who should have found the door Well, when I get gone
All right, so we had much better results today than yesterday. The mountains did show themselves behind the clouds for a little bit. Got some interesting light. We didn't get any light into the actual valley, which would have been really cool, but we got light on the mountains and some of those clouds cleared up. So I'm curious if the shots will come out. I was bracketing, so shooting F8 like normal, ISO 100, shutter speed set to whatever needs to be for the correct exposure to bracket. Um, I, and I was bracketing, but I don't necessarily know if I need it. I think I do because it's pretty dark foreground with a very bright background because the light was only hitting those clouds at the top. And typically clouds and that stuff get blown out naturally regardless of the scene. So we'll see if I needed the full bracket. I probably only need two exposures, one darker exposure and the exposure for the foreground. Regardless, I'm gonna put an image on the screen no matter how it turns out because I just want you to see the foliage and the conditions uh, and maybe I'll voice over it if it doesn't turn out. Anyways, thank you for watching. Here's the image. We're gonna go get some caffeine. Uh, well, I have caffeine, but we're gonna drink some caffeine and then we're gonna get back on the road and see what kind of crazy stuff we can get into today just because it doesn't matter what time it is right now in these conditions, the light can be magical. I took shots yesterday uh, in the last episode and one in the afternoon, two, like noon, that were just absolutely gorgeous. So we're gonna go try to get some more of those. So stay tuned. When I get going, you can hear me roar And I know I can't live like this no more oh, I ain't gonna live like this no more Hurting as bad as the years before Living in a lie I can't Boy, I had to cut ties to settle the score and I ain't gonna live like this no more It has been an absolutely breathtaking morning. So down the mountain where we were shooting earlier along the San Juan range completely overcast and covered in clouds like super low clouds very moody i decided that i would just repeat what i did yesterday which is drive up the mountain to the million dollar highway which is where i am now as you can tell in the background here it is absolutely gorgeous no rain or clouds up here while well, there's clouds but not like down there so just kind of ran away from that and i've just been driving up and down the road hopping out taking photos hopping back in if there's anything that I find that I need setup time or to talk about, I definitely will. It's hard to include just getting out and shooting a quick shot as the light is fleeting. That's usually the shots I'm looking for when I'm driving is when not necessarily the composition or the subject matter is sticking out to me. It's when the light hits things correctly. So that's kind of what I'm looking for. And I obviously don't have time. It very much requires just get out, take the shot as soon as possible and get back in the car. So that's what I'm doing. I uh, hope you enjoy. Here are some of those photos that I've taken so far. And we're just gonna keep shooting because it is absolutely gorgeous out. It is roughly, what time is it? I'm holding the camera with one, my hand that has the watch on it. It is 10.30, so that gives you an idea that we are way past golden hour and stuff like that, but it's still absolutely beautiful. So, thanks for watching, thanks for tuning in. If you're enjoying it, you can like the video. If you're loving it, you can subscribe if you're not already. See you soon.
All right, so I think it is safe to say that sunset is not happening. Uh, drove around a bit more and also went and worked for like four or five hours. I'm pretty behind on some stuff. It's weird trying to juggle the wanting to shoot all day and then also having to keep up with all the non-photography related stuff. Whether it's editing photos, editing these videos, responding to stuff, comments, the calendar that I'm trying to get off the ground, which by the way, by the time the video this video comes out, there will be a calendar link down below that you can buy for 2022. So if you're into that, check it out. It supports me the most and gives you something cool to look at that maybe you enjoy. Anyways, <laughs> yeah, uh, I think that's gonna be it for tonight. Not sure about it for this episode. Maybe I'll include sunrise tomorrow morning. Thank you for watching. Thank you for checking out the calendar down below. And I will talk to you soon. Well, you'll hear me talk to you. You know what I mean. <laughs> Later.